Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the third video. In this one, we are going to create the funnel. I mean, we are going to create the landing page, the booking page, and the thank you page. So for that, I am in my high level account. I'm in sites and in funnels. So I'm going to create a new funnel. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, not going to create anything from scratch because that's going to take a lot of time. I'm, I'm not going to keep you guys here and watch me build a funnel from scratch. That's going to be a different video. But this video is about the process of creating three-step funnels. For that, I'm going to go to template library and high level has a few really good funnel templates. So I'm going to use one of them. So as this is a dental client, I'm going to go to dental. Uh, let's see dental care. And here's a few good ones. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to hit continue. I agree. Get this template. Okay. If I refresh, so here's the funnel I imported from template library. Now I'm going to go to this and you can give it a name from here. Settings. So let's give it a name called uh, Evergreen Dental Offer Funnel. Whatever. So this is going to be home and a domain. So you, you can select a domain from here. So I, I'm not going to use any domains. That's Really easy, you just go to settings and domains and connect one and you can select that domain that you connected from here. So let's uh, save it. So here's three pages we just imported and if you want to change anything, you just go to new tab and this one, the only thing I'm going to edit is I'm going to put the form somewhere in this landing page, the form that I created in the last video. Okay, it's loading and here's the landing page. So what I'm going to do is I want to have this form somewhere uh, on the right side of this spanner. So I'm going to just simply make a clone of this and just give it a less padding than usual. And from here, I'm going to give it full width. And let's just get rid of these sections. And from elements, I'm going to add an element. So it will be the form just here. And just select the form landing page form that I just created on the last video. Here it is. All right. Okay. Anything else we need to do? Let's see. Okay. So you can change all these all by yourself. It's pretty simple to change all the content here. Just go ahead and edit whatever you want to edit. If you want, you can have the form in the bottom, but I'm just putting the form on the banner. So when somebody lands on this page, he or she is going to see it uh, at first glance. So let's save it. And similarly, I'm going to go to the appointment page. Go ahead and edit this in a new tab and see if this one's saving. Okay, that's saved. That's fine. So the action of this form will be set here. So what I'm going to do is redirect action, go to next step. So if I save it and somebody submits this form, he or she is going to be redirected to this page, which is the exact thing what we want. Now let's get rid of this and we're going to just say book an appointment and let's remove this part here i'm just going to have the calendar let's select dental appointment booking we already created this so we're just gonna embed this in this format save it okay now the third part will be the thank you page let's see if everything's all right there okay so this is the thank you page and when you have like a domain connected to this, you're going to see the URL for the thank you page. All you need to do is just copy this right now. I'm copying this URL, which is the temporary URL. You definitely don't have to uh, use this URL because this is a like a preview URL. All you need to do is once you connect the domain, you're going to see the URL here on the top. So you need to do uh, all you need to do is you need to just copy it go to settings go to calendars from here edit and we are going to go to confirmation 
we will form submit put this here okay and complete again this is not going to be the temp url i'm using this is going to be the domain url which will be the live version you are going to put this here so i'm just showing you this and demonstrating how how it's done that's why i'm putting this here so that's it really uh, i have created the funnel but i haven't changed the content that you can do yourself that's pretty easy i'll just put the form on the landing page let's just stretch this area a bit so it looks good okay and i have created the appointment page where it's just a calendar you can change uh the content and the thank you page again you can change the content and the url of this thank you page will be put to the calendar redirect url so what happens is when somebody lands from the ad, whether it's Google ad or Facebook ad or TikTok ad to this landing page, after read, uh, after submitting this form, the person will go to this page. And uh, after booking an appointment, the person will go to the thank you page. And following this uh, process, you can track the conversions of that ad. So that's pretty easy. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video, how to create the funnel. So I'm just using a template again. You can use a bespoke design for your funnel. You could use someone else's winning funnel as an inspiration, whatever. I'm just showing you the overall process of creating the funnel in high level. So I'll see you in the next one where we will get started with the automation behind this funnel.